Um, an another sort of aspect that, that has been following us is, is this kind of relationship between um, you know, the, pra the pragmatic and the utopian, or let's say the, the, the two utilitarian and the, and the social. Um, one such example is this is basically where uh, Granville Bridge touches downtown uh, Vancouver. We got invited to, to look at turning it into a, a, a mostly residential and also educational development. So we just started mapping the constraints. There are setbacks from the streets, setbacks from the bridges. Uh, the city has a rule that you cannot build uh, residences closer than 30 meters or 100 feet to the, to the traffic on the bridge. There's a park where we're not supposed to cast any shadows. And finally, we were left with this tiny triangular footprint, <laughs> almost too small to build. So, so then we started thinking, like, if the, if the purpose of the 100-foot uh, setback is a minimum distance, once we get 100 feet up in the air, we can grow the building back. Uh, so essentially, the triangular footprint turns into a rectangle. Uh, we managed to get the city to agree with, uh, uh, with this interpretation. So when you drive over Granville Bridge, it's sort of as if someone is pulling a curtain aside, welcoming you to, to Vancouver. This kind of gradual overhang. Um, and underneath the bridge, uh, we worked with a series of, of, of local artists. You have uh, basically a university in these two triangular buildings that are wedged in between the legs of the, of the bridge. Uh, and then uh, Rodney Graham uh, uh, proposed to create, uh, turn one of his uh, video artworks into a giant urban artwork with this gigantic uh, uh, chandelier uh, that basically is, uh, um, uh, sort of ro rolls up and then sort of twice a day it sort of drops and spins uh, dramatically uh, uh, down above the, the main street. Uh, and the idea is once, once open that the entire underside is going to turn into what we've nicknamed the Sistine's Chapel of Street Art, uh, but basically trying to turn the otherwise negative impact of the bridge into, uh, into a positive. So, so what ends up looking like this kind of almost like surreal silhouette is actually like a very precise analysis and response to uh, uh, a very difficult uh, sort of urban, uh, urban situation. It, it's going to open uh, in, in, in May uh, and is already now like really one of the more striking uh, uh, places in, uh, in Vancouver.